Hi there. In this section, I'm going to show you how to install working environment on Windows. Okay. It contains two parts. The first part, we, we need Python, and then we will install Scrappy library. For install Python, go to anaconda.com slash download. Anaconda is a distribution for Python, a very high quality. And I'm on Windows, so I will choose 2.7 with 64 bit graphic installer here. Click and download. Okay, it's 500 megabytes, so it will take a while. The reason is quite large because it's not only contain the Python, but a bundle of other packages very useful for our course. Okay. Okay, so after complete download, you just double click and go through the install process with the default option. Okay. To check the Anaconda installed, just uh, open the command prompt with Anaconda. Anaconda prompt here, okay. And enter. So, typing in Python. And you can see here the Python 2.7.13. And it is distributed by Anaconda. 64 bit okay that is we have uh, Python and now will be the scrappy okay so from the anaconda command prompt typing in conda install scrappy and okay we'll take a while to Fetching the package and installation. Yes. Okay. It done now. Try with command scrappy. Okay. You will see that a list of available command here. So it means scrappy is installed successfully. That is. We have Python, we have Scrappy, and ready to go. Okay, see you in the next lesson. Hello, in this section, I will show you how to install working environment on Mac. Okay, we will need Python first and then install Scrappy library. For install Python, go to browser and go to anaconda.com slash download okay in here we have the anaconda for mac versions i will choose python 2.7 and download here and for 64 bit versions click download okay we'll take a while for download and you can see that the the package is quite large, more than 300 megabytes. So, because it's not only contain the Python, but more than other 1000 packages, very useful for our courses. Okay, after complete download here, you double click and run through the installation process with the default options. Here I already installed, but so I do not run again. Now to check if everything okay from the terminal, you open the terminal and typing in Python, and you can see here the Python versions and it's distributed with Anaconda. So that is, we have Python. Now to install Scrappy, you typing in Conda, install Scrappy, enter. Take time to fetching the package. 
okay do you want to proceed yes of course Okay, seeing the installation finished. Now to check if the install is okay, you typing in scrappy comma and you see here a list of available comma. So that is we finished the install working environment on my see you in the next lesson. Hello, in this section I will show you how to install working environment on Ubuntu. Okay, we will need Python and the Scrappy library. For Python, you go to anaconda.com slash download here and download the version for Lilas. So choose Python 2.7 and download the 64 bit installer here. Okay, it's been quite big because it contains many other packages that will be useful for our courses. Okay, now after download, you can see I have a file here, the Anaconda for like Lilis. So to install, you open the terminal and typing in bash. Put the file to here. <coughs> okay, enter. Okay, yes, enter, so I have just used the default option, it will take a while to install all of these packages, and yeah, yes, I want to add the part. So after complete install, and uh, we need to reopen the terminal. Yes, and try with Python command. So you see here, the Python is distributed by Anaconda, and that is. Now try to install scrappy with command conda install scrappy enter take a while to fetching package you want to proceed yes of course okay now it's installed successfully. Let's try with scrappy command. Scrappy. And here you see the list of available command. So it means scrappy is installed successfully. That is, see you in the next lecture. Hi there. In this lecture, I will show you how to install Sublime Text, a very cool text editor. Okay. Now let's do it. Right here, you go to sublimetext.com and it is, this is very nice and fast text editor. You go to download and get the Windows 64-bit if you are on Windows, okay? Download it and then 
after download it you just go through the install step very quick okay it's fast it's finished now you can open it by command and sub lamp that is so throughout this course we will use sub lamp is uh, our text editor is cool for python okay so that is see you in the next lecture hello in this section we will talking about how scrappy work and what our job when we using scrappy framework okay at first step here the number one engine we in this request to crawl from the spider so spider need to provide the the, the starting point the starting wire okay uh, second step engine schedule for schedule request with scheduler scheduler return request to engine and then engine request downloader to download after download successfully download the return a respawn object to engine and engine return the respawn object to spider in spider here we have parser and parser html page to extract the data and after extract data spider will send the request with item to item pylai okay to do some extract uh, data process so to s from this picture is quite complicated but most of the job is done by scrappy our three main job will be answer two questions the first one where we want to get the data is mean in which URL we want scrappy to download and with each page what kind of data we want what kind of data item we want okay it could be text image or anything else okay so that is see you in the next lecture hello welcome to the part one of this course we will get the funny title from reddit so you can see the link here click to link this link reddit slot r slot funny and all the funny story is so up here very interesting and what we want is we want to scrape the title of story here the score how many upvotes it have and the url link the detail to the detail story okay the treating the title the upvote and the detail link here and not just in one page but at end of this you can see the next button here we move you to the another page so we have many many pages so we, we want to scrape all that is see you in the next lessons hello one of very first step in order to scraping data from internet is understand the page we intend to scraping okay so scrappy provide a very handy tool called cell for this purpose now i'm win on window to open the cell i go to anaconda prom enter now i typing in scrappy you can see here is list out the available command and cell is one of the command it is interactive scrapping to console now to go to the cell i typing in scrappy cell
Okay, I'm inside the cell. So one of the first step to working with cell is we fetching the page we want to investigate. So okay, with command fetch and put in the URL page here. Enter. So it's crawl 200 mean it successfully. The return of this fetch command is a respond object. Now respond object. Actually you can see respond object. You can check the what URL is just crawl. It's correct, right? Or the whole HTML page with respond.txt. This is, this is uh, the whole text from what is crawled. So the next step will be investigate the, the page with inspection tool on Google Chrome. You mouse over the the title you want to get data right click it and click to inspect now the inspection tool show up and you can see that the title here is actually inside a, a tag right with class is title so now try with CSS selector respond dot tab you can see after you click to tab many command or property related to respond is so up now i choose cs here cs it means i will use cs selector to extract the data from respond object okay now you can see here i care about this tab a tag search for a tag with class is title okay now try to extract it extract enter so you see the list a list of all the a tag which have the title class is return okay but uh, I want the text only, so I put in here colon colon and text only. This means I, I need I check text only, not the whole a HTML tag. Okay. Enter. So we see that the title text will return in a list. Now the second thing I care about is the URL. The detail URL of this page is here inside the edge reference attribute. So very similar, I will use respond to extract. Now I not care about text, but a attribute with name is here at h rep h rep okay try extract it enter so you see all the the detail where is return here at expected the final thing i care about is the score here so i mouse over it and inspect and you can see it is inside a div tag with class is score and unvoted and what i want is the title here the number inside inside the title attribute so the same way i respond dot cs now i put in i search for div with class is score 
and unvoted. Okay, we use two class here, and what we care about is attribute with name is title, right? Dot extractor enter. Mm -hmm. Okay, extract enter. So you see the return is as we expected. That is in this section I show you how to using the cell uh, tool uh, for investigating understanding the page and try to debug how how to check the data. This kind of information very important because will be used in next step when when we actually build the spider. That is, see you in the next lecture. Hi, in the previous lecture we already understand how to using Scrappy cell to investigate and try to debug how to extract data. Okay. Now the time to create a real project and create a spider. The spider is the way we specify for Scrappy understand where to scrap and what to scrap. That is okay. Now from the command prompt here, I want to add my project inside this folder. See Scrappy project here. So now I cd to that directory. Scrappy. You can see here I have a command called start project. Create a new project. Okay. Now I create a new project. Scrappy start project. And then the project name will be ready. Enter. Okay, it start successfully and you can see a new a new folder is created here. Okay, it's scrap folding and automat automatically for us. Now we CD inside this project. It's important. Okay, you need to CD in chain directory inside to the inside project. Now if you typing in scrappy again and enter, you can see that in the list of uh, available command, we have some new command, which is only running if you are inside the project. Okay. One of that command is gen spider, mean create a new spider for this project. Now I typing in scrappy gen spider. And the first thing is spider name. I will use the name in ready job. And the domain name. Domain name is where we only want the scrappy crawl the data from. So for example, we don't want Scrappy go outside of ready.com. So I specify ready.com here. So that is now enter. So it's created. Okay. Now from the folder, I will open this by sublime. In this course, I will use sublime as the editor but you can use anything you want okay sublime text now i open is the scrappy project here and inside project go to spider you can see the spider file here and open it 
and this is what the scrap be auto generated for us based on what we input the spider name the domain we want to scrap we go inside that okay and the start wire actually we we want to change this start wire because we want the funny article right so change this you can see the response object here this is what will be written after the scrap we crawl this page the start page here so and we already know how to extract the data the title the url detail and the score from the previous lecture so in, in just in this one i just apply what we already know so okay i copy this extracting that is so i will explain one more time how it works scrappy will start with this wire and it crawl the page it return a object called respond and call is automatically call this pass functions and inside the pass function is a place where we specify how to extract the data okay this is answer for how to extract data this is answer for where to extract data right it's two important questions which is i talk about in the very beginning of this course okay now that is it's time to try to run this spider so to run the spider I have command called crawl here so just scrap p crawl and the spider name name ready job enter to see if the spider work okay in the beginning you see some log from the system what config we use and here is the data which is we actively print it out right if you want to get rid of the system log we will specify here no lock okay try again so we see only data oh. first one is the list of all the title and then the list of all detail url and then the list of all the score that is seeing the spider work right so see you in the next lecture hello there in the previous lecture we already create a spider here and try to extract the data and print it out to the console log okay now in order to scrap it could export the data we need to define the structure what kind of structure data we want and then years the, that structure inside this pass function okay two step now the first step go to items file and define the structure here this is class which is automatically create when we create the project okay each data item will be a, a field a field object now what we want from beginning is title will be a scrappy a few object okay um, 
edge reference will be scrap b dot fill um, score scrap p dot fear also right okay now go to spider file reddit job here we need to import the item so it's the spider can understand the item structure so from reddit project import Reddit dot item import Reddit item. Okay. Now inside the patch function, we don't want to print it out, but uh, we want to put the return into a list so list of title here is list of h reference and list of score okay now we will zip three three lists into one and each item inside a new list here tuple and contain the data from each list so for item in zip three list titles at reference score we will define new item new reddit item object right so new item here is first fear is title title equal to item zero because the title is the first first position in in this zip okay new item it's reference equal to item one new item and score will be item two okay and the final step is here it now to scrappy here's a new item that is so scrappy we understand the kind of structure we want now try to then run the spider note that you need to cd to inside the project here reddit project enter so you see the result yeah right each result is a dictionary and the key is a name of item and value the second one third one okay that is data structure we want now to export this to file is very sim very simple just run this this job this spider with uh, defy output file our file dot csv and define the tie we want export at the csv data so tie will be csv now enter okay check it out the file read it here 
so I'll find here. I'll try to open it. Okay, so Scrappy understands the structure we want. Is the get three column, the title column, the edge reference column, and the score column. And it's put data in each row like this. It's good, right? So, okay, so that is. See you in the next lecture. Hello. In this section, I will introduce with you the item pipeline. So the reason we have item pipeline is sometimes we want to have some extra processing on data after we extract it from the pass function here. Okay. We hear, hear the data item here, but we want to do some extra processing. Based on the big picture here, the spider after pass the data, it will yield the items at the step seven here, and the item will go through the pipeline. And so pipeline is the right place where you want to do some more data processing, like uh, filter out the duplicate item or in our case I will filter the data based on its score for example I don't want the data item with score less than 1000 so let's do it to enable item pilot we go to the setting dot p here inside the project folder searching for item pilot okay and command this one so basically it's going to enable the item pilot with name reddit pilot here the second step we go to pilot.p file and it is automatically created for you but with empty function here. So what we will do we will add the logic we we want to here, right? The item here is the item which we ER from the pass function. So it's contain three fields here. Now let's do some logic here. Okay. If the item uh, score, I will find the by on score. So I will convert it to integer. Let zero than one thousands. I only one the data item with score larger than 1000 for example in that case I return item as normally but uh, else I will drop I will raise uh, a drop object drop object here like right here drop item with a okay in order to do drop item i need to import the drop item from scrappy exception okay now i drop item with a message to low score okay so that is it mean the data with score below 1000 will not go to 
the file, the export file. Now let's try that to see. I will delete this file. Okay, run the scroll, scroll command again. Okay, enter. Yeah, it's run successfully. Let's open the output file. So you can see here the all the data item which is go into file is filters. All the score is larger than one thousand. That is that is what we want, right? So see you in the next lecture. Hi there. From the start of part one until now, we only getting the data from the one page, the starting page here, slash r slash funny. But you, if you scroll it down, you will see the next button here. Basically, it will lead to another page. So we have second page here. And from the second page, I also has the next button, which lead me to the third page. So a lot of funny title, right? I want it all. I not just want it from the first first wire here. So the point is how we extract the URL, which this button lead to so mouse over it right click inspect now you can see the absolute url here and it's inside a tag and a tag is inside a span tag which class is next button so let's use the cell the scrappy cell try to extract this wire okay now let's do it from here i go to cell scrap p cell now the first stack is fetch the wire mm -hmm. i fetch this one pages okay okay it's complete now the first thing i need to do is i want to extract the the span the span tag here which class is next button right so let's do it respawn respawn dot series and I want span tag class is dot mean class if you familiar with CSS next button okay try to pick track it what is return it return okay right the span tag here and only one only have a one one span tag with with the class is next button as we expected but what we want is the url here and in order to get the url we get the a tag and this a tag is inside the span tag so we have a loop of CRS selector here. Inside the inside the span, this one return a span, right? So inside span, I continue to use CRS to get the A tag, okay? And I care about the it reference attribute here so 
attribute attribute name này, add reference and dot track try to run it okay it's return a list of uh, of one item so if i if i want to get the url absolutely so i just putting here the index for first item in zero enter so you see we get what we want right so that is see you in the next lecture i will show you how to do recursive passing functions based on what we investigate here see you okay so in the previous lecture we already know how to extract the next page wire okay in this section we, we i will show you how to change the path function so we will we can passing and dial crawl data from multiple page okay now the tricky thing is at the end at the end a pass function here we add one more step is it is a request basically a request uh, need to input the url to make request and what function we want to process the data response after the request is complete so the first parameter here will be the next page where which is we already know how to get and the callback function here is it's called itself it's called the pass function okay so we call this function is recursive now let's do it in real so to do a request the first thing is we need to import the request object here from a scrappy http request so now let's train the spider okay let's import the request now after complete passing the all the data item in one page we find out the url for next page so the next page equal to we will use what we already try out here in scrappy cell okay Ctrl v now the final thing is our request and we put in url equal to next page the callback function to process the response for this page will be cell dot pass that is right okay now try to run this and what we expect is it will pass a lot of page right now try to run this command again cross reddit job output file is csv and tie csv enter so you see seems the stream of data is endless basically it's crawl a lot of page not just one page so that is we finish this part one and and i attack the code inside into this part so you can modify yourself or just run and see the result okay 
So see you in another part.